apologize. We thought that we would have time to head into our little breakout groups uh, after the meeting on uh, Monday night, but uh, that was false. So in lieu of having another meeting, uh, just decided I'd send out a quick video just to cover some uh, some basics for the middle school baseball season uh, as we get started tomorrow is our first game. So a uh, brief introduction to myself. I'm Luke Harvey. I'm the head coach. Most of y'all know this at this point. Uh, this will be my third year. Um, at CCS, I teach high school English and obviously coach the middle school baseball team. Uh, and this year, as with last year, will be uh, helped by Donnie Lewis. And thankfully, this year we added a third or a second assistant coach, third coach for the middle school named Ian Hayes. Both Donnie and I played at Covenant and Coach Hayes actually played football at UTC and then was a baseball star in high school. And so it's been great to have a third person working with us in that capacity. So basically, I think the way I want to break this down, just give you all quick what y'all can have expectations for us as coaches, uh, our expectations for you as parents, and then our expectations for your boys as players. So hopefully we'll all be on the same page with that. Um, so let me start off with y'all's expectation of me and of us as the coaching staff. Uh, every Sunday night, you can expect to get an email from Coach Lewis, which will have practice times for the week, uh, game times for JV and varsity, and any other pertinent information that uh, we think you need to know. So we'll send that out every Sunday night. The goal of that is just that you kind of have a general uh, format off of which to plan your week. And if anything changes, you know, if there's a game that's rescheduled as there was yesterday, uh, Coach Lewis will be quick to let you guys know uh, as quickly as possible. He has really graciously decided or um, accepted to sort of be the mouthpiece for the coaches. Um, since I'm full-time at school and then I'm going back to graduate school this year, and then I'm also about to have a baby in a couple months, uh, there's a lot going on. And so Coach Lewis will sort of be the mouthpiece for all of us as coaches. So I communicate to him. He sends things out to you all. So any email you get from him is from us as the coaching staff. Uh, what you guys can also expect from us, uh, we specifically, myself, uh, I'm very open to talking about any issues you guys might have, right? So if that's anything to do with playing time, if that's, you know, something that's going on in your boy's life outside of baseball that you think uh, we as coaches should know, um, please feel free to reach out. And I know I just said that Coach Lewis will be sort of the point man, uh, but if there's a question about specifically, you know, playing time or why your boy isn't playing as much as you think he should or, um, you know, something more personal that you think we ought to know, I do ask that you reach out to me specifically. Um so that I can sort of delegate and lead that conversation uh, as the head coach. Uh, also, as coaches, you have our, our word that we genuinely care more about your boys becoming men uh, and becoming men who walk in the, in the footsteps of Christ than we do about winning baseball games. You know, that being said, we're going to compete at the highest level that we possibly can. Uh, we're going to push your boys uh, as players. But even more important than that, you know, we're going to hold them to a very strict standard of uh, becoming men. What does it look like to be a Christian man uh, in failure and in success? So know that that is our ultimate goal, uh, and baseball falls underneath that. So our expectations for y'all. Um, I want to make sure that y'all understand that for, for varsity players, uh, playing time is going to be based off of skill and need. Okay, and what I mean by that is in JV games, uh, everyone plays. Everyone's guaranteed to get into the game at some point. They're short games. We're only an hour 15 minutes, but we will make sure that everybody at some point gets into the game. Uh, in practice, obviously, we practice together, so they're getting work there as well. Varsity games, on the other hand, we're going to put together the best team that we can for that day. And uh, what I mean by that is, you know, maybe someday we need an extra pitcher. And so we call a guy up from JV to dress out for the roster because we think we might need him in the bullpen. Or um, 
you know, somebody, uh, you know, has just been struggling. And so we bring somebody else up to fill a position for a little bit. Uh, it's not that we play favorites, right? We're, we're going to pick what we think are the best nine players at that time instead of just picking the, the nine best, right? So the best nine, the team that we need versus, you know, the nine all-stars on the team. We're going to – there will be role players to fill that in. Uh, but just understand that. And, again, if there are issues with playing time, if you think that uh, your boy needs to be playing more or should be playing more, um, you know, at least open that conversation with me. Uh, we do ask and expect um, that you would not talk to your son in the dugout during a game, specifically about baseball. So that does not mean, you know, if your son has diabetes or he forgot lunch or he needs a water bottle or a Gatorade, you know, of course. Um, what I mean by that is it's very difficult when kids have voices coming to them from all different directions in the middle of a game, you know, so I might be telling them something that coach Lewis is talking to them about something and then they have an at bat and they come back to the dugout and then, you know, their parents are spying them saying like, Hey, you know, make sure you're keeping your elbow up. And it might be something that's different from what we're telling them. Uh, there's a lot going on. And in baseball, it's, it's so key to, you know, you, you practice off the field and in the cages. And then when it's game time, it's all about mental focus. Uh, in every at bat. And so, you know, we won't talk about mechanics or things like that during at bats. And so we ask that y'all respect that and, you know, let us have your boys for that hour and a half um, during a game. Uh, let us know if kids are missing, right, or going to be missing for a period of time. You know, I think y'all have done that very well up until this point. And, uh, you know, on our end, we're trying to keep y'all as updated as possible as things change, which they have done a lot already. Um, so we'll obviously give each other grace in that regard. Uh, and then expectations for players. Um, as I said, you know, one of our goals is that we cultivate boys into men uh, or help along that process. And we're going to try and run a pretty tight ship. And what that looks like, and just so we're on the same page, is, you know, we expect players every day to come to practice with baseball pants, uh, a shirt tucked in, you know, or a pullover, and a baseball hat, right? I mean, in a, in a belt. Uh, that's just, you know, the basics of looking and playing like a ball player, being a part of a team. Um, you know, we, we expect kids to not jog on the field, right, that we're always busting it for that hour and a half. Uh, I have a rule in the field that they're not allowed to talk about video games or middle school girls uh, for an hour and a half. Um, you know, if a kid strikes out and throws his bat as a coach's policy, we take him out of the game, right? We talk to them, it's in love, you know, but it's, it's that quick, hey, that's not how we play here at CCS. That's not how uh, Christian men demonstrate themselves in the face of failure. And so, uh, We've talked to your boys a lot about this. This is not new information. Um, you know, they're all on board with it. And we've already seen, you know, a ton of growth from uh, day one to now and look forward to seeing more of that. But just wanted to make sure that y'all are on the same page. You know, if, you're, if your son comes back and says, hey, I had to run polls, uh, that you understand our thought process behind that and that it is done out of love. Um, so anyway... Lots of things. Just wanted to cover that before the first game. Uh, if there's anything I missed, if there are things that y'all have questions about, please reach out to either Coach Lewis or myself, um, and we will discuss amongst each other and hopefully give you an answer that clarifies whatever question you had. So thank you guys for your flexibility. Uh, I'm very excited for the season, as always, and let's go Chargers.